This uh, short video will give you an introduction to the lab enzyme kinetics that you will be carrying out or VS1002. The main aim of the experiment is to estimate the Km and Vmax of alcohol dehydrogenase in presence and absence of an inhibitor. And also you need to identify what type of inhibitor you will be working with. Now the reaction is of uh, ethanol converted into acetaldehyde by alcohol dehydrogenase. NAD uh, is a cofactor that acts as a, a proton acceptor for this uh, reaction and it forms NADH. NADH is a useful uh, product to measure because uh, it changes its absorbance uh, when it becomes an ADH, uh, if we measure it at 340 nanometers. As you can see from this uh, spectral uh, image, that at 340 there is absorbance for an ADH but not for NAD. So, what you will be doing is measuring the uh, production of an ADH at five different concentration of ethanol, you'll estimate the initial rates of reaction and calculate the Km and Vmax using a line weaver work plot. In order to do so, the first thing will be to set up a serial dilution of uh, ethanol. You'll do this by first pipetting 1 ml of water into 5 uh, tubes. Then to the first of these, of these tubes, you'll add uh, 1 ml of ethanol at 1 molar, which is provided to you. Then uh, you mix well, and you'll take uh, 1 ml from this tube and pipette it to tube number 2, therefore creating a dilution of that 500 millimolar ethanol to 250 millimolar ethanol. You repeat this for tube 3, 4 and all the way to tube 5. So you'll have all the different concentration. You will then need to prepare the assay mix. And you have the list of all the compounds you have to put in there and you will be given the initial concentration, stock concentration and you have to calculate vo volume you'll have to apply that in a total of 5 ml to reach the final concentrations that you are indicated there. Remember to do so, you need to use the C1 V1 equals C2 V2 uh, equation so that you can calculate how much you need of each compound. You'll then make out the rest of the volume with uh, water. Remember, that you will use either X or Y as inhibitor and uh, agree with your neighboring group to use the opposite. So if you use X, they'll use uh, Y. You're now ready to start the reaction. If I've had 800 microliter of the reaction mix, so that enzyme mix you just prepared, and I've it into a cuvette um, Put the cuvette in a spectrophotometer and zero it at 340 nanometer. Then take out the cuvette, add 200 microliter of the ethanol dilution, pipette up and down it to mix, and immediately start the clock, because at this point your reaction has started. You put the cuvette back into the spectrophotometer, and then uh, you will start reading every 10 seconds what the absorbance is. In other words, you are following the production of NADH as it happens. And you carry on that for uh, 90 seconds. Once you've done that, you repeat the same assay of 800 microliter plus 200 of ethanol for all the five concentration of ethanols that you prepared. With the data you obtained, you can now plot it uh, on a time curve and estimate the initial rate of reaction. You will 
then convert that initial rate of reaction uh, into actual concentration of, v, uh, of uh, NADH using the Weir Lambert law. Refer to your protocol for more details on how to do this. But effectively, uh, the Weir Lambert uh, law allows you, uh, you can consider the fact that absorbance is equal to uh, extinction coefficient time concentration times the light and length path length, which in this case is one centimeter. So effectively, if you divide your absorbance by the extinction coefficient, which in this case is 6,220, you will obtain the actual concentration of uh, NADH in your uh, solutions. It's easier to do this just uh, to calculate on the velocity you calculate rather than doing for every point. Now you can plot your line wave vert after, of course, you have converted your velocities and your substrate into their reciprocal because the line wave vert uh, plot is uh, the plot of 1 over v over 1 over s. From the graph, you should then be able to estimate uh, the Km and Vmax. You can refer to your previous notes on how to uh, calculate the uh, Km and Vmax from these plots. In terms of health and safety, there are no major concerns of this lab, except for ethanol and the inhibitor. They can be irritants, so please you get in contact, wash them with water. Otherwise, use normal precautions for the lab.